El Centro is where Mexico's authentic northern and southern cuisines meet, in the middle. El Centro is basically the place that you find anything in Mexico. The restaurant's co-owner, Alan Rodriguez, moved here from the city of Hermosillo after he graduated from college, then started his own construction company and later found another calling. All my family has a background in restaurants, and I saw the opportunity to open at a spot in the South End. El Centro now has two locations, the first in Boston and another that opened in Dedham in 2019. We've been mixing and, you know, innovating, creating our own dishes. All inspired by the folks, food, and flavor of Rodriguez's native country. I mix the dishes from the North with the sauces of the South of Mexico. In addition to the enchiladas filled with your choice of protein, there's the creamy shrimp chipotle with corn and asparagus. And the carne asada served with house-made flour tortillas. The key is the tortilla. We make our own tortillas here, corn and flour tortillas. Everything is being prepped every single day. So it's, everything is fresh. Menu mainstays that transport you to Mexico with their flavor and are good to go along with a drink from the bar if you're thirsty. While Rodriguez and his staff try to remain resilient, the pandemic has impacted both the business and Rodriguez's home. I got COVID back in May. Fortunately, aside from major exhaustion, his symptoms were mild. My phone wasn't ringing that much, so it gave me time to think. It was a time for opportunity. He saw that downtime as a chance to slow down and reset. And now his outlook for the future is optimistic. It's going to be a challenge, but you know, I'm very, very positive. At M&M Barbecue, food is a family business. They started off with a little small truck and a trailer and a dirt lot, and they had acquired another food truck and a couple different restaurants over those years, which led me to take over and, and end up here. Gio Lambert owns and operates the business founded by and named after his grandparents. Marion and Maurice Hill. My grandfather was from North Carolina, my grandmother's from Alabama. They cooked their entire life. That, that was the way they provided for their family. Food to go was always a way for them to connect with the community, parking their mobile restaurant outside their church and local businesses long before food trucks were a familiar sight. One of the first food trucks in the city, when they had their truck, they couldn't even park on public streets. But in 2019, the wheels came off and M&M partnered with Dorchester Brewing Company, opening a brick and mortar restaurant inside the newly renovated brewery. I thought beer and barbecue just went together like just hand in hand. And if Lambert was going to set up a stationary shop, it made sense to do it here, as he too is originally from Dorchester. I live not too far from here. I went to um, Latin Academy on uh, Warren Street. I went to the Grove of Cleveland Middle School. The names on the menu reflect M&M's roots as well. I named all the sandwiches after the place that we parked the food truck. In addition to the savory sandwiches, the original recipe ribs are what this business was built on. I smoke in a hardwood smoker. We have a, a full smoker inside with hardwood charcoal, throw hardwood in there, and we have our own dry rub and our own barbecue sauce. And for meat lovers who can't pick just one. Smokers Club, that has our pulled pork, our beef brisket, a house braised bratwurst that's braised in a DB Coe's beer. This is our house made seasoning right here. Each plate is an homage to its namesake and a nod to Marion and Maurice's legacy. They built a great foundation for me. They didn't have a lot, but they always put a lot in and whatever they could give, they would. And so I just wanted to be able to provide that for my family the next generation of my family. I want it to be a household name to keep their name going because they built a legacy. And good news for M&M Barbecue. They have now reopened for indoor dining and back to El Centro. They recently opened a new fast casual taco shop on Newbury Street called La Neta. Still to come next time you order takeout, some food for thought.